Robin Hood. Long, long ago, in Nottingham, England, there was a king named Richard. King Richard was a wise and generous king. The town of Nottingham loved their king. The kingdom was rich and prosperous. But one day, when King Richard was traveling to another town, his ship was lost at sea. Days, months passed, but no news of the king or his ship came. The town mourned for their beloved king. In King Richard's absence, his younger brother, King John, was made to sit on the throne. But King John was nothing like his elder brother. He increased the taxes and took all the money from the poor. The town started to become poorer and poorer with each passing day. Nottingham had lost its hope. But, as they say, with every injustice, a hero is born. This is the story of such a man, Robin Hood. Robin Hood was a young boy who lived in the Sherwood Forest near Nottingham. He had a group of friends called the Merry Men. After watching the injustice done by King John, Robin took it upon himself to help his people. He used to rob the royal carriages to steal from the king. He and his men would then distribute the stolen wealth back to the poor people. Every time a royal carriage passed the forest, Robin and his merry men would appear out of nowhere. Oh, I hope Robin Hood is very, very sleepy today. I hope he doesn't hear me passing this forest. Shh, Tony! Why are you making so much noise? Slow down! Uh, but sir, how can I ask the horses to walk slow? Robin Hood can also hear our footsteps. We are walking on land, sir. It cannot be noiseless. Oh, shut up! But the minister was right. Robin and his merry men could hear all. And suddenly... Oh no! Thief! Thief! I am not a thief. <laughs> you are. This is poor people's money, not yours. Go and tell your king. People of Sherwood are not alone. Come on, let's get moving. For Robin Hood, Jasmine, we owe our lives to him. Robin Hood? Sheriff, do you want to keep your job or not? He has done it again. All our money and gold is gone. That goon has done it again. I want him arrested right now. We, we have tried, Your Highness, multiple times. But they just disappear. Are you saying you cannot do this then? No, I will do it. I will arrest Robin Hood. He is my enemy. Give me one more chance, your highness. Do whatever you have to. I don't care. I want him arrested. The sheriff was furious. He decided to lay down a trap for Robin. The sheriff knew that there was only one way to make Robin Hood come to the palace himself. The only way, Lady Marion. Lady Marion was King Richard's niece. She was a beautiful and strong woman. Robin once spotted Lady Marion as she crossed the Sherwood Forest in her carriage. Robin attacked the carriage, assuming it to be the king's treasures. But as soon as he saw Lady Marion, he could not believe his eyes. He dropped his sword and kneeled down in front of utter beauty. I am... I... Who are you? It was love at first sight for Marion too. I am Marion. Are... Are you Robin Hood? Guilty as charged. Robin, have you heard? The sheriff is organizing an archery contest. The winner gets to marry Lady Marion. <laughs> the sheriff is so stupid. This is obviously a trap. Everybody knows that Robin Hood is the best archer. 
We are not going. Right, Robin? But Robin wasn't listening to Tuck. Did you say Lady Marion, Little John? The best archer gets to marry the beautiful Lady Marion. No, Robin. They will arrest you if we go to the castle. But how will they recognize us? I will disguise myself. Oh, boy. Wait a minute. I will not let you go alone. I will disguise myself as the Duke of Chutney so that I can get near King John. As decided, they both were at the gates of the castle. Nobody recognized them, except for... <laughs> you are Robin Hood! But why are you hissing, sir? Wait, aren't you King John's assistant? Wait, what's your name? Ah, yes, Sir Hiss! <laughs> Laugh all you want. I will have both of you arrested right now. Guards! Guards! But Sir Hiss was immediately put into the barrel of ale. <laughs> now you are not just Sir Hiss. You have been promoted to Sir Hiss Ale. <laughs> Did you get that, Robin? Hiss and ale? Shh! Quiet, John. Let's go. <laughs> no! Wait! Soon it was Robin's turn to raise his bow. He shot three arrows one after another, and the crowd was shocked. All the three arrows had hit the center. The crowd cheered for this brilliant archer. Robin took his hood off and began to look for his Lady Marion. But just then, arrest him! That's Robin Hood! <laughs> Caught you at last! But Robin was not scared. He knew his merry men very well. Not so soon, Sheriff. Let Robin go or I'll say goodbye to your beloved King John. Uh, no! Let them go! Let them go! Sheriff, I don't want to die! The soldiers immediately released Robin. Robin and Little John headed towards the gate. On their way out, Robin saw Lady Marion. I will come for you! Wait for me! Always, Robin! Always! Once in the forest, the Merry Men and Robin began to plan on how to get Lady Marion again. Just then, a boy from the village came running to Robin. Robin, they are arresting my father! What? Come on, let's go! Robin and his Merry Men rode towards the village saw that the villagers were in a fight with the soldiers. It is the king's order. He has tripled your taxes. If you can't pay, then I have to arrest you. Go thank your Robin Hood. He angered the king, and now you have to pay for it. Robin Hood is a good man. He cares for us. Unlike your selfish king, he is a cruel man. How dare you? Arrest him. No. Wait. It's me you are looking for. Leave these people. No, Robin. We don't want to go. Run away. No. Let them arrest me. Robin, what are you doing? I may be stealing for a good cause, but it is still stealing. I don't want the children of this village to follow this route. You must all stand together and fight. That is the only way. Farewell, my men. I shall see you soon. The villagers were sad to have their hero leave, but the merry men were not going to give up on their leader. They followed the carriage from inside the mountains so that the soldiers don't see them. Oh, oh, the mighty Robin Hood, the protector of the poor, the provider. Nonsense! You are a thief, a goon, a dacoit. And what are you, your highness? You steal from the poor. Where does the tax money go? What is your palace doing with it? Just because you sit on that throne does not mean you steal poor people's money. I am not a thief. The money I take belongs to my people. I return to them what is rightfully theirs. Let our highness, King Richard, return. He will see what to do with you. Quiet! Throw him into the dungeons! Oh! <laughs>
The town of Nottingham was now in true danger. Their savior was captured. But will the merry men let King John win? Tuck, what are you doing? Fire! Run! Save yourselves! Robin, come fast! The castle is on fire! Why do you want to help me? I don't like King John either. I was wrong about him. Let's go! Robin didn't trust the sheriff, but he had to escape the castle. He followed the sheriff to the roof. What now? Now I win! <laughs> Where will you go now, Robin? The water down is deep, and there are archers everywhere. I knew you were not to be trusted, Sheriff. Goodbye. <laughs> How stupid. He will never survive this. But Robin Hood survived. He swam through the canals and got out from the river in the forest. Oh. I hope my men are all fine. But back at the castle, something unexpected happened. King Richard had returned to his kingdom. After the fire was put out, the town of Nottingham had gathered in the castle to complain about King John and the sheriff. I apologize to my people. This will not be tolerated. You have disappointed me, John. King John, Sir Hiss, and Sheriff to be arrested immediately. <laughs> no, Your Highness, please! Oh, shut up! There is a reason why your name is Hiss! I command to release the Merry Men and take back all the charges on Robin Hood. In fact, a brave man like him should be rewarded. Bring him to the castle with honor. King Richard soon realized that Lady Marion was in love with Robin Hood and wished to marry him. King Richard liked Robin Hood. He was more than happy to get his niece married to a noble man. Nottingham rejoiced as their hero was respected and rewarded. Robin Hood lived with Lady Marion in the forest of Sherwood. They were happy with their simple lives. They danced and sang songs with the people of Nottingham. Robin Hood and the Merry Men never stole again.